Oil prices hitting record highs for the year earlier this week. That's after OPEC in its monthly report forecasted tighter supply outlook and growing demand next year. OPEC saying global oil markets face a supply shortfall of 3.3 million barrels a day next quarter. But the U.S. Energy Information Administration predicts a more modest 230,000 barrel deficit. Brent crude, the international benchmark, rose 1.8 percent to more than $92 per barrel on Tuesday. Now it's resulting in higher prices at the pump with AAA putting the national average of a gallon of regular gasoline at $3.84. That's 14 cents higher than the same time last year. Due to a spike in gas prices, inflation jumped last month. The Labor Department reporting that the consumer price index rose 3.7% in August. That's compared to a month ago and that's up 0.5% from the annual pace set in July. But when you leave out food and energy prices, so-called core prices rose 4.3 percent. Now that's a step back from July and the smallest increase in nearly two years, but still far from the Federal Reserve's 2 percent target. So it's the highest we've seen um, since May of this year. So we are seeing it come ticking back up. But again, we know it's largely due to those higher energy markets. No surprise there since we've seen some new highs. But if that continues, it could continue to to move the CPI up more. 